Hi everyone. So we are going to start a new playlist on the web driver IO. We have got recently released version eight. There have some changes which has come in. So we're going to you know explore from the beginning with the latest version. So in this playlist, we are going to use web driver IO with Mocha as a framework and TypeScript as a programming language. We are going to see from the very beginning what is the prerequisite and then step by step uh, actions that what is the basic controls available how to handle different actions in the web pages and all and then till the reporting and ci cd pipeline creations and the github actions so let's get started now first thing is what is web driver io and this is the official page of web driver where if you just read it it says next gen browser and mobile automation test framework now what and all it supports you can go through the documentation and their official website if you click on docs and then if you just say why WebDriver IO, we have few certain details, but in nutshell, WebDriver IO supports more modern web application, hybrid native mobile application, native de desktop application, unit and component testing. Yeah, and there are uh, plenty of other details that you can read it through. Now let's just get started. What is the prerequisite of to setting up WebDriver IO? So first thing is you require a Node.js. You can download if you don't have already in the system you can download from this official website node.js and the current long-term support is 18 version if you want to check in your system whether you have node.js or not you can simply open a terminal and then simply type node space hyphen v if you have version it will show currently i'm using 16 but as node is 18 version is lts let's try to use version 18. now if I want to switch to a different version, in typical way, we have to download this again, uninstall the existing one, download the new one, and then install and set up everything. But there is a better way to manage Node with multiple versions that you want in your system. That is called Node Version Manager NVM. So let's search for that. Now there is a GitHub website where you have all the instructions given in the NVM site, how you can install, how you can set up a complete Node Version Manager. Or if you like, you can simply just go through the any YouTube videos or blogs available in the internet. There's plenty simple and easy to set up. So there are just certain basic commands that you just need to run and then it will do the job for you. Yeah, so basically uh, what this does is you can first install NVM based on the uh, complete NVM and then based on the system version or the node version required, you can install multiple versions. Let me just check for the command that is required to install. Installing and updating. Yeah. So this is two command to install. You can anyway follow through this documentation and you'll be able to set up. Now, how this works once you install or once you do the setup is in my system, as of now, I can say NVM space list. It will show all the list available. And if you show currently version 16 and 18 is available currently in my system, and there are others available too. So if you want to switch to a different version, this it's a very simple command. NVM use and the version number 18 because i already have 18 i should be able to switch to 18 directly now now using node 18 let me check first clear the screen and say node hyphen b so i'm using now node version 18. so there are two ways one is directly you can use download the specific version and then use it or you can manage a multiple node version based on a requirement using node.js sorry uh, node version manager that is nvm so i suggest to try nvm and then you can, you know once you do the setup other thing is required is a code editor i always prefer visual studio code it's good lightweight and it has good intelligence so you can download based on your system it is available for mac windows and linux and these installations are pretty straightforward all you need to do is just click download the esc file and then next 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 and you should be able to set up just the basic installation so yeah once you are done you, you need to start we are ready to set up now in the first page itself this is the home page and you go to docs first page is getting started so here you have in webdriver has given a pretty good documentation about the basic setups things that you need to do now if you read here initial webdriver io setup if you are in the root directory for existing project run this command or if you want to create any project run that run this command is either of that means what Usually, if you already have created a project folder or you are in some development project and you want to include your testing there, then you can run that command and it will create a WebDriver IO folder inside that project and all the configurations will be there. 
But if you don't have any folder created itself, then you can use this command. The difference between these two is in the first command, there's a just dot, that means in the current directory, or dot slash and the path of the project you can give. Okay, so now let's start creating from the very basic. Let's go to terminal. Now, I don't want to create in my home directory, so let me just navigate to developer YouTube. I have created a YouTube folder here, and then I want to create. So inside that, I want to have my uh, repository created. Now, what I'll do, because I don't have any project created, I'll use this command. So npm init wdio and instead of only dot dot slash and the project path now i'm already in youtube folder but inside that i want to create one project so i'll say web driver io mocha type script ts so this will be my project name if you want to have subfolders inside you can say any folder name like folder name slash so what it will do inside a youtube folder it will create this and then it will create the project but i don't want to have that so just the project directly i create npm init wdio dot slash and the project name that's all it is just click enter now installation will start if you see there's a logo uh, of a web driver io that has come here and then installation is set up once basic setup is done you'll get a wizard now what wizard it web driver helps you to set up a basic framework pretty you know in, in a very simple way it asks you a few questions and based on the selections you do, it will download all the dependency required and all the packages and all the setups that you do. Yeah. So if you see, first installation that is CLI installation has been successful. Now there's a WDIO configuration wizard has been started. Now here, as I told, there'll be a certain questions. The first question is where your test should be launched, where you want to have your. Now there are two options. How you can navigate between these two options? In your keyboard, in your laptop keyboard, uh, press arrow key arrow down key and arrow up key to navigate between up and down and then whichever selection you want to have click enter or return key in your keyboard so for me we have a two option here for where should your test be launched local or browser local is for etu and web and mobile application browser is for the unit we are not going to see unit testing we are going to see web testing so i'll select local and then i'll click enter second question where is my automation backend located? That question is here. The first by default selection is on my local, but if you want to navigate through again, arrow down in your keyboard. And if you see the different options is highlighting. Now I'm going to go with only local machine because I'm going to set up in my local machine. Later I will see how to integrate with the different uh, cloud platform. For now, let's click on on my local machine. The third question is, which framework do you want to use? As we discussed in the beginning itself, uh, we are, are planned. We are going to set up Mocha framework here, but it supports Jasmine and Cucumber. If you want to learn about Cucumber framework with a web driver IO, I already have a complete playlist. I have created with the version seven in my channel, where if you, this is my channel link, and if you go to playlist and web driver with TypeScript, if you open this, I have a complete playlist from the very basic setup in the uh, report setup and report configurations with all the details available already so you can explore it through let's get back to the terminal here we want to select mocha then do you want to use compiler we are going to use typescript as a language if you're using javascript you can select no or Babel, either of your choice but i'm going to use typescript the benefit for typescript we will see uh, you can read any blocks the between uh, difference between or the, the benefits of having TypeScript over JavaScript and all there are, there are so many like blocks are available but we will be exploring more when we get into you know next videos we'll see where the TypeScript shines that we'll see in the later videos but for now I'll select TypeScript click return or enter now it is asking do you want to generate auto generate some test files basically as of now it will create a basic configurations and if you want to have some sample test if you say yes, it will create some sample tests for you. How cool is that? So let's select Y. It is asking Y or in Y is for yes, obviously. So yeah, enter. Where should your test file located? So if you want to have test file automatically created, what should be your path? It will ask in your project folder. It will create a test folder, spec folder. Inside that, it will keep the TS file. Enter, default selection, enter. Then it is asking, do you want to use page objects to maintain your locator separately? I'll go with yes. 
because I want to manage all my locators separately in different class. So I'll say yes and enter. Then he's asking what should be your path default, whatever is it is suggesting. Enter. Interesting another part. Which reporter? WebDriver has so many reporters that it supports. If you go to the documentation of a WebDriver IO, there is a section called reporter. And if you expand it, you have a lot of options available for a reporter. Heavily used is uh, Alio reporter. Then we have a HTML reporter. We have a video reporter and so many other reporters are there. But for this video, we'll be using two reporter. One is a spec, which is by default already selected. Now, another thing you want to notice is this is a multi-select options. That means you can have more than one choice you can select. How you can do that? Arrow up and down key. Whichever is selected will be in the green here, or maybe it depends on the, your terminal. It might be different, but you'll be able to see the difference when it is the option is selected. So I'm going to use a spec and another allure. So I'll see if arrow up or down. Here is the allure. Now you have to press space key in your keyboard to select this one. Space key in your keyboard. So I'll select, I'll click on space key. Now if you see, Two options are selected one is a spec reporter a leo reporter if you want to have other reporter also you can select but i'll go with these two i'll click enter or return button and you will see whatever selection you will do right it will display in that question so i have selected speak and allure then do you want to add plugin as of now i don't want to use any plugin but this wait for uh, helps you to handle weight in different way WebDriver always already have a good enough, uh, you know, way to uh, strategy or mechanism to handle it. So I'll skip it. I'm not going to select anything. If you want to select, you can press again space key, but I'm going to leave as it is and I'll click enter. So if you notice here, there's no selection made here in this particular option. Now, sorry, here. Now the last option is, do you want to, not, I think second last probably. Do you want to add services? Now services where you want to run your, you know, browser or, or where you want to run your test. If you want to run your test in Chrome, this is your option to select. If you want to run in Firefox, this is your option. If you want to run in Edge, this one, if you want to run in Fire Safari, you want to, you can use a Safari driver. If you want to use Selenium standalone, that means if you want to run in multiple browser at one time, you want to run in Chrome and Firefox and Edge, all those, you know, in, 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 in with single service, then you can use Selenium standalone rather than using all. These configurations will change it later. And then we are going to see how we can use Selenium standalone in the later videos. And yes, whatever selections we are doing here, we will be able to edit and change in the later point of some uh, time. So don't worry if you have made some wrong selection, but try to you know have the basic requirement setups or whatever you need, and then just try to click enter or, or your selector options. So I'll go with Chrome driver by default as of now, I'll click enter. Then what is the base URL? I'll leave as it is, just click enter. Then do you want me to run NPM install? What it does basically, based on all your selections, whatever you have done, you need the packages or dependencies to help you to write the automation code. For example, if you have already worked on Selenium, Maven project, you manage all your dependencies in pom.xml and whatever you define in the pom.xml will be downloaded as a dependency. Same way in Node versions or, or Node.js based framework, whatever you define or whatever you select, you will have something called package.json file where you'll have all the packages name. But here, automatically download will not happen. You need to say npm install to download all those packages required, whatever you have defined in the package or this. And we're going to see that in detail again later. But for now, click select yes, why, and then click enter. Now, based on your selection, it has it is trying to download all these because you have selected Mocha framework, spec and Leo reporter, Chrome driver, TypeScript. So based on the selection you make, it will install all the packages. It's going to take a while and then it'll complete. Yeah, so installation has been successful. And there are some certain steps like creating WebDriver or config file is success, auto-generating test file is success, adding WDIO is success. And there are other links like you can join the Gitter's channels or the GitHub channels for raising any bugs. And if you want to run your test, what is the command to run your test? First navigate to the directory. That means the, this WebDriver or Mocha TS directory and then run this command. Now, before checking the run, let's see what code has been generated. Now, whatever code has been generated, as of now, we are not in that folder. So let me do ls, and we have this folder created. Now, we can let's open this in the Visual Studio Code. Now, there are ways of opening. First, you can open Visual Studio Code. 
actually maximize it you will have this get a started terminal where you will have recent files if you have already working on you will have all the recent or you can select on open i'm going to close this one and then click on this copy icon here so it will display this open folder you can click on open folder if there's no folder selected or from the file menu you can select open open folder again do not select open workspace because the workspace is a way to manage multiple folders or project in a single time but i always prefer open folder to avoid some duplication or confusion in the multiple projects so select on open folder and then you have to navigate to the path where you have created this project so i have created this project in developers youtube this folder make sure you select the folder or the repository name and then click on open not outside that but the web driver because this is see we have youtube folder but this is not our root project folder for the uh, repository we have created a web driver io mocha ts file we have given if i'm able to show if i scroll up yeah this is the command i've given here npm init and then the repository name so this is our repository and that is what you have to select this repository and then click on open yeah so once you select the folder this is what you will see in your repository you might not see the same icon that i am seeing here because it will be a little different for you you might not have so i have downloaded some themes which i can show later but you will have all these folders and file created so the first things if you go back to the terminal in the success step here creating a web driver or your config file success that means this configuration web driver or configuration file creation is successful then auto generating test files here test folder is created and then there is test and there is a page objects created because we have selected to generate some auto generate some test files and the page objects as well so this success and then adding wdio script to package.json that is nothing but if you go to package.json there is a script section and then wdio script has been added so this all step has been successful and it has been created now we are going to explore step by step what has been already created in the next video but for now let's try to see whether this setup is good to execute or not with the basic setups that are or the basic configurations so let's just check it now the command is already given here in the terminal is first you need to navigate to the folder and then you can run this command or from the visual studio code you can open terminal your terminal new terminal and then you can run the command here so what is the command suggested here npm run wdio but you have to make sure you are in the current project folder because our project root project folder is webdriver mocha.ts we should be in that project and you have to say npm run wdio now let's try to see whether it is executing we have selected chrome driver as a service so it should run in the chrome Yeah, so it is trying to execute if the browser is open, it is doing some tests and it has closed. Let's go back to the terminal. And yes, if you see the test has been executed and even passed. If you remember, we have done selection of two reporter. One is a spec, one is allure. So allure we'll talk later, but because you have selected a spec as a reporter, this is what you get in the terminal. You'll get all the results, basic results of the test execution in the terminal, and that is what a spec reporter does. So it has executed one test file and it has been passed also within this time completed, right? So yeah, we are able to do the basic setup and even execute the auto-generated test as well. In the later videos, we will see first, we'll go through and explore the documentations that we have in of WebDriver.io, and then we'll see what is been created uh, we will create our own test rather than having this existing one we'll create our new test completely and then we'll try to run uh, from there so that's all for the video thank you so much